I don't need a girl. Girls just slow you down. Who needs a girl? Just get in your way. How you doing, Bobby? How come you're not going in? You're my girl. You just fire up and go when I want to go. You don't slow me down. I don't even like her. Got spindly little old legs. Who needs it? This is nice right now. Peaceful. What? It's quiet. Wouldn't you like to go someplace quiet? He's not tight enough. We gotta hold the legs together, keep the bones in place. The other ones are in the drawer. What about it? Don't you think we could go someplace like Mexico or something? I wouldn't use old leathers. I don't want anything in my show that isn't pure. Think people pay to see dirt? Don't you think we could go? Go, go where? Mexico or someplace. The water's contaminated, filthy. You can't drink it. The food will get you sick. Get dysentery or malaria and die. Well, wouldn't you like to go someplace like that? Sure. Grand Canyon. There'll be lots of time to take it easy while they're building the big ramp. Grand Canyon. We could even go down to uh, the bottom like Ned and his wife did. That's dangerous as all hell. You could slip and you fall a thousand feet. I just think we ought to take some time off together. The only quiet we ever have is when you're in the hospital. You can't complain, then. You're crazy. Really, something else again? No, I think you're probably crazy. I mean, lock-up style crazy. Is collar the same as Elvis's? Yeah. It doesn't look quite the same. It isn't made out of leather. You're worried about me? Why? I mean, I'd like you to be worried about me. I'm only worried they're going to lock you up, that's all. A man who risks his life, crashes motorcycles for a living, and his wife worries they're going to lock him up. You have broken every bone in your body at least once. It doesn't seem to bother you. Why should it bother me? Go ahead, be that way. Who is it? Pete, they want to know what time on the jump, Evil. You're going to have to tell them what time. I know what time I can't count on anything around here. They got earthquakes. While I'm up in the air, all this could disappear. Doesn't matter, though. I got a guarantee. Tell them 11.30. 11.30. That's right. Just keep repeating it. You won't forget. Jeez. How much do you weigh? Why? Do I look like I'm putting on weight? No, you look kind of good. That's why I asked. I weigh the same as when you met me. Well, you kind of filled out, got a little rounder. Think so? Yeah, I think so. But you tell all the girls that about me. No, I don't tell them any such thing. Now, you ought to know by now you're special. Mm -hmm. I was careful when I picked you out. You have to be careful. But you have to be. <laughs> no, of course not. I'm going looking for him. He can go looking for me. And he will, too. Take my word for it. If he isn't breaking into a bank someplace. For robbing Judge Sporting Goods. Do you know what he said? He did not. He did, too. He told my brother Ken about it. Pulled his brand. Well, nobody's ever proved But it. everybody knows. There he is. What did I tell you? Listen, don't go anywhere. I don't want to get myself raped or something. Those chicks you hang around with, Glenda, why don't you introduce me sometime? They wouldn't talk to you, Bobby Knievel. They know better. Yeah? You tell them anything about me? Maybe. You good? Well, what's it good to say about you? A lot of things. You ought to know that. Well, they know better than I do. They have better sense. Well, we'll see sometime. Where are you going?
you going? Sit in the car. It's cold. Want to come along? <laughs> I've got better sense than to sit in the car with you, Bobby Knievel. I think I'd be alone with you after what happened last time. I'm not sitting in there. Besides, my dad's coming to pick me up. I don't believe that. What are you afraid of? You know what I'm talking about. You think I'm going to get raped or kidnapped or something? With skates on? How am I going to do that with skates on? Tell you what. You take the keys. Go on, take them. Okay, I guess the skates on. It's all right. Fly on over. Want to get out of the wind, that's all. What are you doing? Just a second. What are you doing? I fire. Never can tell when you're going to need it. Stroke. Oh. <laughs> Skate down, Bobby Knievel. Just have to be careful. That's, uh, that's what you have to be. Looking all over for you. I've been here all morning, as anyone can see. Why'd you come here? Never been here before. Needed practice. Only way to stay good at something is to practice. I didn't know you could play basketball. There's a whole lot of things you don't know about me. I'm a master of all sports. You've only seen the dangerous ones. I mean, what's it matter if you don't sink a basket? What's it worth? Nothing. You don't lose anything. Just a basketball game. What do I care about a basketball game? That's why I don't need no stinking Letterman sweater. I don't need anything to show me I'm a hero. I don't believe in that sort of thing. Heroes know who they are. What do you want, anyway? I just want to talk to you, that's all, Bobby. What's the matter, are you pregnant? No. Nothing like that. Well, what is it, then? I'm going to college, Bobby. I'm going to Missoula. Yeah, I heard something about that. I want an education. I don't want to be a waitress at the Mountain Inn and spend the rest of my life here. Yeah. What kind of life would that be? I'll be going now, Bobby. I just came to say goodbye. You can write me if you want. I mean, I'll write back. Hey. Maybe I'll come and see you sometime. You will? Yeah, well, maybe. I mean, if you're going to do that, I, you ought to call first, because uh, I'll have lots of homework and stuff, you know? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. You know, if my... Daredevil shows passing through there on the way to Chicago or something. Right. 